In this tutorial, we'll just take a quick look at setting up some different types of lights. And in this case, this is a light here in the scene, and it's a basically it's a ring light. And I just cut it out from a section of a sphere and use it as a for a lighting technique like that. So that's the real beauty of cycles is that you can use all kinds of shapes to generate your lights. And this it would be fairly common in photography for macro photography. You can actually get a ring light at the front of the lens to illuminate your scene like that in case you're doing these re this really close up work because your flash would otherwise be in the way. So there might be other ways you could create lights and one other thing we wanted to look at is the array modifier. So let's add a plane to the scene. So I'm in edit mode. Better get out of there. All right. I'll add a plane here. Let me zoom into it like this just a little bit. We'll go into material mode. All right, so there's our plane like that. And with the array modifier, we'll come over here, get the modifier tab, array, generate an array, we'll give this an offset of say 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2, so you can see it like this. And we'll make numerous copies. Okay, like that. All right, now let's say I come over here and I place another object in the scene and I add maybe a cube to the scene here. And it's kind of basically lined up with it. You know, kind of like that right there. All right, now when I'm in here with this modifier, I can use an object offset. It's this powerful little trick. I think that was called cube.001. I better check that. Yes, it is. And I'll use a cube offset like that. And already you can see what's happening with that. That cube is somehow affecting this like this, back and forth. Well, that's interesting. I mean, you scale it up the whole nine yards like that, okay? But also, you can come into this object button like here, and on the rotation like this, you can create rotation of objects instead of having to do it manually by hand. I mean, I could go in and make a single plane, move it away from the center, grab it, shift D, rotate it, etc., etc. Why? When you come in and just rotate things, things like that. And you can rotate them down another axis like this, right? And then I just go back into the array modifier. Since I haven't applied it, I can just keep adding things like this. So it's kind of like the screw modifier, except what it does, in this case, it acts like a, uh, it acts on individual objects. And that's it. Okay, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.